you know nothing but still you can be the greatest <laughs> when you are in my 20s i remember one fat lady came to me how to bring down her weight and the slim down and i casually said because you're having less of sex with your husband that's why you're fat and she got so angry with me and she shouted at me telling you have no experience you're not married how could you say such things <laughs> now i'm thinking that can be true to a certain extent and the whole world is on that running around the bush friends so mary are away popular known as walter born on 21st november 1694 in paris in france died on 30th may 1778 in france said doctors put drugs of which they know little in the bodies of which they know less for diseases of which they know nothing at all was the french enlightenment writer historian philosopher known by his nom de plume m de volte he was famous for his wit and his criticisms of christianity especially the roman catholic church and of slavery volte was an advocate of freedom of speech freedom of religion and separation of church and the state doctors put drugs of which they know little said volte <laughs> so i was thinking of the indian cooking in my ashram cooks are there and i was thinking almost every uh, food tastes the same as long as there is a lot of uh, masala and uh, hot kara mm, and nice uh, salt <laughs> everybody is very happy then i got a chance to watch the iranians cooking chicken and when i was in the tokyo guest house in tokyo The Iranians brought the chicken, uh, full chicken, and they they put a little butter on the on the vessel down and just kept the chicken there and closed it. And they came to the dining hall and chit chatting. I said, "What are you doing?" And they said, "No, the chicken we leave it for 45 minutes on slow fire." I was thinking, "How is that?" So after 45 minutes, they opened it up, chicken fully broke into pieces. That is the time they call me Rakum, Rakum. Give me garam masala, garam masala. Because I carry garam masala from India for my cooking. They just sprinkle a little garam masala. That makes it very tasty. But what I found was that in the slow fire, from the chicken water comes. You don't have to put water for step. And after that, the from the chicken the the salt comes out, and then. from the bones the oil comes out and cooks up with zone and you get the real taste of chicken and same they do it on the vegetables also so they get the real vegetable taste but here in in my ashram you don't need to have the vegetable taste or anything for that matter as long as there is masala and i think it's the same for all over india looking at that i know what Walter said, "Doctors put drugs of which they know little. <laughs> Cooks put masala of which they know nothing about vegetables or ginsu, tapioca, <laughs> or rice, whatever you call it. They don't know. They only know put everything, all the masala possible, and people not complain as long as they get the taste of masala. They do not want the reality of the taste." Hence, doctors also brought up like that. When doctors are doing like that, <laughs> then the house leaders of the house, the mother and father, the grandmother, and grand, they are also putting all the masala. And in the talk also, without they knowing, they throw the advices. Some which is like us throw advices without practicing, <laughs> and that has penetrated deep into the political arena. And they go to the stage. and they shout anything and everything and one person they keep in between to just whistle and clap and everybody follows mass hypnotic they do not know what he said whether they understood <laughs> as long as doctors give a medicine but in my village in devanahalli there's no need of medicine also they do not want when they fall sick they must go to the doctor and doctor just 
they will ask doctor doctor why one injection doctor give the uh, disease will go how i do not know so one day i asked the doctor um, the former um, minister sports minister jeevra jalwa's brother uh, jay prakash jalwa was our medical head uh, in uh, in the ashram so i asked uh, dr jay prakash jalwa doctor and the doctor was telling yes yes it is true it is truly everybody comes if i don't give them injection they will not go an injection if i give whether i give medicines or not irrelevant their sickness will go just injection oh i said i said what injection i should give majority of the time i put glucose or what <laughs> psychologically people they do not have to know what the what the war political leaders speak as long as you dump something into the muscle of the foot so when walter said doctors put drugs so which they know little doctor will look at the patient and he thinks anything works out so they know little into bodies of which they know less into bodies of which bodies of which they know less children get married neither the girl or the boy understands the body and then fight erupts and fight is is a beautiful masala because they do not have to know the taste of the husband's body or wife's body as long as they can fight their husband and wife <laughs> they know little into bodies of which they know less into the bodies man enters into the women's body and he doesn't have to know whether he have the taste of the of his wife he has to just enter into the body just how you put the food into the mouth you do not have to know the real taste of the vegetables or the chicken you have to only know whether the mouth understands the taste of the masala hence i think a lot of molest and rape talk is going on because when they both don't understand the bodies and they thinking it has to be dumped into the bodies man start penetrating into the women's body as fast as possible and run seven it is called hit and run cases into bodies of which they know little for less for diseases or which for diseases for which they know nothing at all for diseases they know nothing at all all is jumble and tumble hence my insistence of love that you go back to your family find time to sit with the husband and wife and children just sit and eat from the same plate that becomes sat sat the sangha of truth just sitting and chit chatting and slowly you will understand the sound of the one hand clapping the sound whatever comes from your mouth you can understand the sound if you can understand your mother and father the wife and the husband grandfather grandma sound you can understand whether another person talks whether they're giving a real advice you will listen you will understand the first taste of the vegetables and from there you can understand the power of yours and from there you understand that is basically no disease disease is because you are having less of love less of sitting together and trying to understand you are sick because you were not able to see properly because you're not able to hear properly you are not able to smell properly once you sit with the people you know and you could smell not with friends but with your own relatives with your own house people you get connected to the joint family and the family tree gives you the greatest pleasure in that pleasure you don't have to go in search of job or money job and money follows you 